Dutch number one, Snowberry, Anna here. Dutch number two, George, Snowberry. Dutch number three, Z, wait, Rezzy, Snowberry. I don't even know her name. <laughs> <laughs> and then we got our new addition sister. Three, two, hit one. <laughs> Dutchberry number four, Lakota Bay. Yeah. <laughs> now we gotta take her skydiving. <laughs> yeah, dude. Oh my god, I need to put my seatbelt on. <laughs> um, uh, <laughs> Go this way. Like? Right, right, I meant left. Yeah, left. <laughs> that car on the right. <laughs> what the snowberry do to you? <laughs> oh my god. Like, too much energy. <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. I won't drive like Oh that. yeah, Angel, I have a mm -hmm. question. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Do we have an accent? <laughs> yeah, you guys do. Oh, <laughs> Does it really sound res? Mm -hmm. Damn. Damn. Not gonna lie. Ew, we just sounded res. I knew. <laughs> <laughs> and here we all think Whoa. we're all bougie over here as city slickers. <laughs> we are gonna be the greatest love story this town has. Special guests, obviously, on my channel, so they're all gonna introduce themselves. Go ahead. Either one. Yatte Shea Navajo Man, Peshijinne. I am from Navajo Man and Lakota Bay YouTube channel. Hello, what's up, y'all? It's Lakota Bay from Navajo Man and Lakota Bay, aka Angel. Thank you for having us on the land. We're, yeah. we're glad to be here. And I got Rezzy and Damati is here. Y'all know what to do. Like and subscribe. Put your I shot it. Hey. 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 And then Rezzy. Hi, I'm Rezzy. Welcome to my home. Um, we decided to make a little lunch for Navajo Man Lakota Bay in the Twenty Ends. And we had a little lunch with them. And the kids are all restless. and. My house is a really big mess of toys everywhere, but everything's good. It's fine. It's fine. They're all going to clean up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The parents are going to clean up. As real as you can be right here. As real as you can be. Like and subscribe. He walked into the house and he's like, walk into the NHA house. Uh, I forgot we're in the valley and I thought we were at NHA. It's like, yeah. so traditional in here. Is this NHA? Yeah. 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 Or NHA, not NHA. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> the edibles are kicking in. Yeah, I'm just kidding. We also took some edibles before oh, this. Uh, He's all stuttering. The lights too bright. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Just kidding. Now you see circles. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna sit this one out. <laughs> you don't take an edible by himself. <laughs> I Okay, so some basic questions. Let's start with since we're all YouTubers, what made us become YouTubers? Why? We'll go this way, and then next time we'll go that way. Clockwise, though. Hey, okay. <laughs> all right. Uh, what? Originally, should I speak for? Yeah, okay. you can speak. Okay, for I'm speaking for us here. Um, originally, I started it as a gaming channel. I tried to be a gamer, but I'm not a gamer. I thought I was, but turns out I'm more of a vlogger than a gamer. <laughs> so our channel it took off from trying to game, and then we ended up vlogging a little bit of segments of our life here and there, and. This was right at the beginning of the pandemic, and I think that was about the right time to start a YouTube channel. And uh, that's pretty much where it began. That's when everybody was on lockdown. There was a lot of uh, baby making. Baby making, <laughs> yeah, pretty much, pretty much. And so everyone was bored at home, and hey. so we, we ended up doing our YouTube channel at the perfect time. And I think if it wasn't for the pandemic, uh, I think we probably would have been where we are now, but shout out to all our subscribers and everybody who watches us. We appreciate it, and uh, yeah, that's where our channel took off from, and it, it grew even more after we announced the uh, uh, Twindians, the, our twins. 
So yeah, that's pretty much where it grew, don't you think? Yep. Okay, we'll be easy. What was the question? <laughs> Forgot, sorry. What was the question? How did you, <laughs> how did you wait, was that what, YouTube? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, it, what made you start YouTube? Yeah. Oh, because you made me start YouTube, remember? You made me start right here, we to that same line, you said you're going to start YouTube now. If you can, if you can be in this family, <laughs> yeah. I know. if you can be in this family, you're going to YouTube. Yeah, so she's like, if you're going to be with my brother, you're going to YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> I could see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's why she's been going making more videos. Yeah. <laughs> and then our deal is, remember, I had to cook for you once a week. Yeah. Yeah. She always wants me to make fried bread for her, so that's why she comes over here. For real. And then when she wants to babysit, she drops off the baby. <laughs> <laughs> no, I want to start YouTube. Um, I wasn't really like a YouTuber. I kind of thought it was weird to vlog my life, and I don't know. I didn't feel comfortable with it. But I think I'm getting used to it now, like slowly. Um, it's just kind of weird to share the life of my kids and like my personal life. Like everybody knows the inside of my house. Nobody knows where my house is at, but they know the inside of my house now. Like this is my famous wall where I do all my videos and it's just crazy. But um, I live far from my family. So all my family's in New Mexico and I kind of want them to see what I'm doing, watch the kids grow up and it's a way to stay connected with my family, but now I have subscribers that are common subscribers to everybody else that, I, like we're a little tribe, so we all share subscribers, and there's some people in there that like ask, when are you gonna upload? And like, like, what's going on? How are your kids doing? And it becomes very personal after a while, so it's nice, it's a nice feeling to actually have that little community outside of your family, and then of course, Ron, you can start playing. You can start to me. <laughs> start with your interview. <laughs> Alright, the next one we have George. Oh my goodness. What was the question? <laughs> <laughs> what made you start YouTube? What made you become YouTube? Me! I guess. You guys don't know the back. <laughs> back <story. laughs> She's very abusive. <laughs> <laughs>
She's only like a year younger than I am. <laughs> but you learn a lot from your kids. You don't realize that as much as they learn from you. You learn a lot from them. So I think what I, what I love most is just the fact that she's growing up to be her own self. She's this silly, really, really silly person that I try to get on camera for you guys, but behind closed doors. Talk about personality check. My personality and her dad's personality put together, that's who she is. So that's what I love most about it. Ew. <laughs> 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 I'm like a medicine man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> <Your turn. laughs> what do you, you want didn't, most you didn't about give us these one? answers before. <laughs> <laughs> I wasn't prepared. I know. Dang <laughs> it. Uh, what I love most about being a parent, I have two kids. I have a daughter that's 12 years old, and um, have, I have another daughter, she'll be seven. So they're two completely different people. And I watched them grow, and I've been a single parent for a while. So, yeah, I don't know, they just help me. They help me every single day. And again, I don't make long speeches. <laughs> so. <laughs> That's my answer. <laughs> That's my answer. Yeah, that's it. Next. Nay. <laughs> okay, so what do I. Or what was the question? Beyond the love. <laughs> what do you love most about being a parent? Oh, did I even answer that? <laughs> no. Wait, what was the question? I know. I'm just like, what I said once. That's it. What do you love most about being a parent? <clears throat> oh, okay. So my daughter. I have two kids. One is 16 and one is four. They're 12 years apart and they're both really different. My daughter's really good, my son's really wild. So I like I like it because like I literally felt like I just had my daughter not too long ago. Like she was just a tiny baby and now you I'm watching you guys enjoy this little stages of their life, but once they get to high school and that senior feeling. I'm gonna be really sad, like really, really sad when she graduates. Like, yeah, I'm gonna be proud of her, but I'm gonna be really sad because I know I don't know how to let her go. Like, if I need help now, she's just in the room. Like, what am I gonna do when she is in college? Like, how am I gonna? It's a whole different feeling. Here. But I don't know my son will keep me busy because he already got in a fight like two weeks ago at school, and he's only in kindergarten, so I know he's gonna keep me busy. Um, but. I like it because I get to watch them become their own person. And like for George, I've known her since she was like 15 and I've watched her blossom into her own person. <laughs> and then like for Jennifer, which is the little sister, like I've watched her become her own person. Like everybody I've watched become their own person. I've been in this town for like 20 years almost now. And I've watched everybody become their own person. And it's crazy. I feel old and I have some white hair here and there now. But it is what it is. So that's my answer. <laughs> okay, what I love most about me. <laughs> um, I would have to agree with Anna and be like, watching them grow has been really rewarding. And I love seeing them like discover new things and start learning how to talk and being their own personalities. And I love all the cuddles and kisses and. <laughs> And yeah, just want like I'm needed, so needed all the time, which is like a little bit too much. Yeah, a little bit too much. <laughs> like a love game, but I'm not going to miss it when they get older, so yeah, that's what I love most. I just like to be in, a, a, I guess, a part of their life, uh, the twins, and I like how they're keeping me, in a way, they're keeping my inner child alive, you know? Mm -hmm. I like to, I still like to play G.I. Joe's, don't get me wrong. <laughs> no key, I play G.I. Joe's off camera. And the boys, they, um, they they seem to interact with me, and I'm, you know, I'm teaching them how to play G.I. Joe's and stuff, so, you know, in a way, I'm glad to be a dad to them and being there for them to teach them the right way, you know, from right and wrong, and, you know, teaching them their way of life. So, I think that's, on my side, that's how I feel. Um, I'm just happy to be a, a part of their 
in a, a their life, so. <laughs> I got a question. Who did you guys vote for? Oh <laughs> On a real note. Just kidding. He has like five times now. <laughs> I was like, where do you want to be? Like, where's your future? Like, you're just like at the peak. Mm -hmm. Where would you like to be? Just everything in general. So for me, or you? Yeah, okay. That way. <laughs> All right. Uh, where I want to be in what? Be, or it doesn't matter, like where you're just up there, where you're like the happiest. Um, I just want to be a happy dad, a happy man, and continue to keep my family happy, uh, satisfied, and uh, to just continue to raise the kids, the boys, in a, a best way that I know how. Um, to know that we got a dad here that loves them and teaching them their way, you know, a good way of life. So that's where I see myself. And in the general, as far as YouTube-wise, uh, probably still growing, you know, it's, we still want to grow, still want to get up there, but um, we're not chasing after anything at the moment, just... He wants to be a movie star. Definitely want to be a movie star, so Red Dogs, they <laughs> Dark Winds, so I'm calling you out. But, but yeah. Smoke signals too. Smoke signals are too, you know where to find me. Like and subscribe. Skeetwalker. Walker Ranch. But yeah, so that's that's all I got inside for now. Skinwalker? Hey, but I mean, it might probably change as the YouTube might be like, oh, maybe I don't want the YouTube. Yeah. Yeah. Yes, you want changes? That's the issue. What is that thing? Like, That's gross. <laughs> Alright, I'll stop. Hey. I feel like the dream, the dream would be traveling around doing YouTube, you know, the kids, like maybe have a house in Arizona and have a house back in South Dakota and just growing their channel, making it big, you know, just doing what we love and still meeting um, people from our channel. Like, we met you guys, it's been really awesome, and meeting subscribers, it's been really, like, rewarding and fulfilling, and I feel like just continuing on that, and then, of course, you know, the boys, watching them grow, maybe another little one in the future, we'll see. Uh, we'll see how these terrible twos go for us. <laughs> see how that goes, for sure. Oh, the peak of my life. Um, I feel like the peak of my life is like every day because I don't know if I'm going to live tomorrow or the day after so I try to make the best of every day but in reality like if I had everything come true I don't know I don't know if I want to live that I want to live in Albuquerque or Farmington or I don't know I want to live somewhere that's nice with a little piece of like at least one acre of land so I can have like some sheep over here in this corner some pigs over here some chicken and have my own TV ground and I just want my own little homestead but we'll see if that happens or not I don't know if that's gonna happen I know I can have that out here in Phoenix um <laughs> you okay. can okay. just buy the zoo <laughs> <Hey. laughs> <Add it Depends>. <laughs> 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 so that's where I think it would be and to see my kids be successful and grow up and take care of my own health and I guess getting old because you can't you don't get no younger but I don't need to go. I don't know about that. I already don't like this white hair that's coming in. George had to pull it all out earlier. You done? Yeah. On the hay. That's good, George. You like doing speeches, you know? <laughs> uh, for me, I want to travel. You know, I don't want to be stuck in Arizona forever. Maybe. <laughs> but I want to see my kids grow up and then they have kids and then they have kids. I don't want to live that long, but <laughs> <laughs> eventually that will happen. But within during that time, I want to be able to go travel. I want to go maybe across the world. Uh, where are those other places called? I want to go to like Hawaii. I want to go to like Europe or Paris or wherever. So yeah, traveling is just up there. And that's all. Just, I don't know. Nay, sell me some money. <laughs> <laughs> Make my dream come true. Nay. Hope you get rest of your yeah. family. Nay. Your family no, only I can't do it OnlyFans yet. Yeah. <laughs> Send me your food to the parents. <laughs> <laughs> I'll buy your food. Okay, wait. Hold on, we have that one. Two times. Two times. Two times. No, I have to take it. Can't see you. Nay. Just get my dick palms out. <laughs> But yeah, that's all I want to do. I just want to travel and see what's all out there in the world. 
I mean, I could take my girls with me, but they still have to finish school and everything, so hold off on that. Okay. You can homeschool them. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not home. That, I said, I'm going to travel, not help them. <laughs> Okay, so for me, like, I have some big dreams. I have plans. Um, I really want to go through a lot of what I've been thinking about. One of them, like you said, I really want to start acting. I want to get into movies um, since I was in Skinwalker. Dahmer. Dahmer. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Let's try this again. <laughs> yeah, I've uh, wow. always been in drama class. I've been in drama club. I'm just a drama queen in there. <laughs> but that's like one of my goals is to become an actress. And then I want to be an advocate. It's just I'm not too good with what I'm thinking to what I'm saying. Because I feel like a lot of my past, I feel like I can... How would you say it? Like, teach other people how to go through things, how to deal with things, and resources that um, are out there. I want to be like an advocate of some kind. Um, I'm still trying to figure out what I want to do on that part. And then traveling-wise, I really love to travel. We travel so much, and that's also been a bucket list of mine. It's just try new things, um, like the skydiving we just did, the bucket list. Um, eat at new places. I still want to do all that. And then also, like Angel said, I really want to get like a house up in Montana because that's where my late husband is from and I want Nevaeh to kind of keep that relationship with the family. So I want to have a house up there and of course a house down here because I hate the cold. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe like California area. Um, but that's basically my dream. Um, maybe one of these days just homeschool the kids, or the kids, see, I mean, see, <laughs> <laughs> me, <laughs> homeschool Nevaeh that way, like, I just love her being with me all the time, I can't let her go, so maybe homeschool her, so that way she's with me. <laughs> like, um, the other YouTuber, yeah. Navajo Mama, she homeschools her kids, like, she can do it with all the kids, I'm sure I could do it with one, <laughs> but that one is like 10 together, <laughs> but that's like, wait, dream of what I want to do. So I guess we'll be back next year to see where we're at. Yep. Same, same table. Same table. Same table. Same table. Same table. Mark, mine's are open. <laughs> same clothes. <laughs> All tight. I know. <laughs> just outgrew them. A bunch of holes in it. It doesn't wash it. <laughs> that was the, my last question. But, um, I hope you guys know us a little bit more. Those are more like some deep, intense, heart-to-heart -heart questions, basically. But that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. And don't forget to subscribe to everybody here. Follow them. I'm sure every single one of them has a social media page. Go follow them, too. Share the videos, like, comment, everything. Come support natives. Come support us res people. <laughs> We I'm need love too. <laughs> the, the really resi ones. <laughs> <laughs> See, look at my elbows. <laughs> See that no yacht motion. in her hair. <laughs> <laughs> See all that yacht in her hair. <laughs> but you guys want to say anything? Uh, no, thank you. Who, who did you guys vote for? <laughs> <laughs> I just want to know who you guys vote for. So I know who I'm voting for. I know. Also, that's who they vote for. I'm not talking to anybody. <laughs> picture on it. It's like big. I was like, I'm going to take that home before we go. <laughs> and it's going to hang above our bed frame. Oh, no. 
<laughs> well, you didn't hear it from me. <laughs> He's not stealing nothing. He's just kidding. I was only admiring it. Hey, <laughs> that was just my dream. He's all kind of funny with me. I got it. Yeah. Face, yeah. So shout out to Boone Nigren. <laughs> That was a really good question. <laughs> <laughs> That's on point. <laughs> All right, guys. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Okay, so the shout out for this video is to Myron Starr. He is an artist. He does really, really good artwork, and he is also a tattoo artist oh. from the San Carlos Apache Reservation. I met Myron Starr downtown Phoenix when they were having the um, Indigenous Festival down there. Um, he was actually doing he was doing a painting a really nice painting. This is the painting he was doing He was doing that painting and then I was like, oh, that's really nice I get to finally see somebody actually doing artwork in front of me So I was standing there and I was recording him for like maybe like two to three minutes And then he turns around and he's like looking at me first thing he says is my wife watches you <laughs> he started laughing. I was like, what? He's like, oh, my wife right there. She watches your videos. Oh, okay. Well, that makes more sense if <laughs> you say it that way. So that's how I met Myron Star. But I'm going to leave his contact info down below. Y'all can go check out. Um, he has stickers. These are some of the stickers that he has. It says Rise, Rise and Grind is those stickers that he sent to us. And then he also has the DM Apparel. And he also has, oh, I wish I had three arms. And then the Arizona sticker. Also, he sent us some shirts. And the, he had us pick our own shirts. And Sita's always wanted this shirt. Skodan. Skodan. <laughs> and he also sent me a shirt. This is a shirt I've always wanted. But I didn't know like he was the one that made these shirts. I have always wanted a Geronimo shirt. But y'all go check out um, his Instagram. Go check everything out. I will, like I said, I'll list it below. Go get your tattoo done. Go get an artwork made. Go get some stickers and go get some shirts. Go say what's up to him. So, but until then, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. We shall see you guys in the next video from the Annalyn times two. The little ones running around back there. And we shall see you guys. Bye. Bye. You guys should make um, those Take hair buns and have the ones on it. You saw my one? Yeah, I did not buy one. <laughs> Make sure the buns tight though. Yeah, I bought one and it was all loose that time. Remember? Lie, you should probably put it on it. <laughs> <laughs> Gas prices were low then. Give me that. 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 Girl, you got that beat right. Kill it if you leave us. I know if your loving's got me buzzing like a street light. It's too early out of Cali, baby. Don't you wanna rally again? When I taste tequila, oh baby.